Let's think about a certain kind of ethics that you may have studied. And it, ex it, in it involves studying moral problems from the following perspective. Consider a certain society. Let's call it Society A. Now, in that society, people bathe. That is, they're, they go to the beach and they, they're permitted to bathe in the sun completely naked. In that society, sexual relations with another person's spouse is perfectly permissible. It's all okay. Open marriage. Euthanasia. Mercy killing. Somebody's terminally ill, very sick. Euthanasia is commonly practiced. And that goes on in a given society. Now, there are other societies that have rather different laws. A different society might have, you know, might be the situation where women must be completely covered to go out in public, head to toe. Cutting off a person's hand is a punishment for somebody caught stealing. These are rather different kinds of moral beliefs. Now, what's going on here is this the study is studying the various moral principles that are held or believed within different societies. And this is a perfectly legitimate kind of study because, after all, certain moral beliefs vary from society to society. And this is something that we call a descriptive study of morals, studying moral customs of various societies and people. Now, this is a descriptive study, even though it's about ethics, because it's describing what people's ethical codes, what their moral codes actually are. Now, this is not a study that's typically undertaken in philosophy, or at least not the primary study. They might use the, these in examples to draw some ethical conclusions about it, but the, when you're doing these kinds of descriptive studies, you could be doing sociology, anthropology, political science, history, other disciplines, but you're not really doing, you're not involved in a philosophical study because in ethics in philosophy is not a descriptive study. It's not describing what people's beliefs actually are, but it's normative or prescriptive. It's what people ought to believe. But these kinds of studies, there's nothing illegitimate about it. They're perfectly legit legitimate. And in fact, many people think that they have a, a tremendous benefit of developing understanding and tolerance for other people's moral beliefs.